Jim McCullough reporting live. We're here at number 11 food store and stepped out for a quick bite. We got two orders, uh, placed the orders about 15 minutes ago, uh, earlier than usual. Some traffic out here in Garden Street. Uh, so we got the two different bows today. Last time we had the OG bow. Uh, today's the Mala chicken bow uh, and the mushroom bow. I'm gonna take, this is probably the fried rice. Oh no, that's probably the fried rice. And we got some, some of the pepperoni fried rice, a returning menu item for Cynthia's lunch tomorrow. But we're gonna crack right into the bows here. Uh, so one is the maitake mushroom bow, and these both have number 11 sauce on it, which is like a spicy mayo kind of a thing. Um, and the, the mala chicken, kind of a take on the Nashville chuck chicken, uh, hot chicken sandwich. You got the pickle in there, number 11 sauce, uh, breaded chicken, mala in the bows. And uh, these bows are a little more well done than last time. And then you got the maitake, uh, the maitake mushroom. Also got a pickle in there. It's like some shallots on top. And so we'll that one first. Um, see how they stack up against the OG. They're definitely firmer. Um, and I definitely, I, I put them right off the cusp, looking between the OG bow and the fish bow. Um, so like this kind of holds itself together. It's still, still a fried bit of meat. And you got the tempura all over the mushroom there. That was really solid. Didn't get a pickle in the first bite, but let's see how it plays out. Really nice with the pickle. This is um, definitely not at the level of the, the pork belly bow. I think mean, that's kind of hard to live up to, but I like what they're doing with the mushroom here. Uh, they probably could have also used a, um, I would say like a lion's mane mushroom that's pretty meaty. Um, maybe I have to cook it differently, it wouldn't fry quite the same way, but the, the maitake really works in there. And this is the mala chicken bow that we tried to get last week, it was sold out. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure I get the full cross section of all the flavor here. And that's good. It's definitely more of a panko breading on the chicken, which is not what you usually get in a fried chicken sandwich. And you can see the chicken really decent right there. And um, I like the pickle, the good pickle distribution. You don't get as much of the mala spice. Or maybe actually a little piece of cartilage right there. I'm not too sure about that. Um, it is definitely their own chicken chicken filet. Um, so I'm not going to say either of these are better than the, the OG, uh, but let's take a look and see if the uh, pepperoni fried rice is any different than what we had it. That was one of the opening menu items that they had when they first opened. And still using the jasmine rice here. Uh, definitely a full portion here, of the rice. And they also have the house special fried rice, which is swapping back the pepperoni for the Chinese sausage. Uh, they both got egg in it. I think that one also has uh, fish sauce. Uh, so we stayed clear of that. That's not a not a common ingredient you'd see in a in a chow fan dish, but pepperoni is just as good as I remember. And it's um looks like there's there's maybe more of it. You and I'm also getting um a bit of that mala effect. So I'm not sure if that I don't think that's coming from the pepperoni. It's got to be maybe some pe peppercorn stuck in here. But that is solid. So he's gonna love that for lunch tomorrow. All right. So number eleven food store. The outdoor seating is up now. It looks like they sanded everything down pretty smooth, so you're not going to get splinters there. Uh, so definitely check it out. They close early, 8.55, so don't come here after 9 and expect to get some food. Not a late night establishment yet. All right, signing off. Bye.